Good evening, Burgers. And tonight, we head to the movies. late night adventures looking on the internet for new products to review and new tech that I find to be awesome. I stumbled upon something that was a bit odd, but it interests me. The Abigant. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the unboxing. This right here this is a pretty big box itself. So we're gonna make this over. Flip it so you guys can see the contents. Um, the first box of goodies we have wires. This is a USB. This is a this is a HDMI HDMI output standard. USB 2.0. Oh, nice. It's pretty thick. It's a thick carrying case. It's pretty big. Oh, cool. It's an actual, here's a case right here, and there's a pocket on the inside for carrying other things. I'm not sure. We have. Okay, it's the strap that goes on top of the headphones itself. Uh, this is a dongle that you can use. Uh, uh, we'll talk more about that later on. Uh, cleaning cloth, a microfiber cleaning cloth that also comes with instructions. Cleaning cloth and instruction manual. Never read. And different nose adapters. This is pretty cool, you know, to to be a little bit more customizable. You know, different people have different nose sizes, so, you know, to make sure everything fits for everyone. And I'm guessing because this is not moving, I'm guessing that's it. Put that box over here. Oh, that's all there is. Drop everything on the floor. And the headphones itself. So these are the headphones. As you can see, they're really nice design. They're on the heavy side for sure. Looks like any other regular headphone. But, hidden feature. Bam! You have your own home theater right in your face. So we're going to go ahead and test out the headphones. First and foremost, we're going to remove one of these nose pieces, see which one fits me better with my glasses. This one seems right. Um, place this right here. And there you have it. That's pretty much it. So, you know, prior to putting on your nose piece, you know, this is just, it can, it can be used as regular headphones, of course. They don't have Side, to be honest with you. Oh, because of the screens right here, I think you would want to uh, keep this on until you actually ready to use it. Especially if you have like a lot of hair, you don't want the hair to get tangled up to the screen. So I'm not gonna lie to you, it's kind of heavy, so I'm pretty sure I look like a fool right now. Uh, but you know, you could use it as a regular headphones. Um, honestly, I would probably just use it like this. So I don't know, there's no way to go around looking like a fool with this on, I kid you not, I feel like a fool just wearing these. But once you're done listening to your uh, to your dubstep, oh, it's magnetic, it just slid in there. Yeah, it's magnetic, just slid in there. So once you're done listening to your dubstep, you know, like this, you just go ahead and boom, pop it forward and you have a screen right in front of your eyes and 
wait, prior to that, sorry, you have a little button right here and pops up the little screen. So now you can actually see. You have a couple of levels right here that are used to adjust. Uh, you have you know different adjustment on the top, I mean on the on, on the front and on the top portion. So just to get the right aspect ratio for each eye. So you know, and it's it's each button to utilize for each eye. So which is good if you are you know you have basketball eyes, it'll be able to be you'll be able to adjust it uh, according to you. Boom! Let's put these on. Okay, with the nose piece, I'm probably screaming, but with the nose piece, it's actually pretty comfortable. But just in case, you know, you have these little straps, put them on the top. To make yourself look like an even bigger fool, you have head straps. Bam! Watching movies, guys. This is the future. The future is now. So the display for the Avigan is a 1280 by 720p per eye using an aspect ratio of 16 by 9 with a 40 degree diagonal video and audio output. It uses a micro HDMI for video and audio and it has a 9 axis IMU for head tracking. Now as far as audio goes, the frequency response rate is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz and it uses a 3.5 millimeter standard audio jack. Now as far as battery goes, it lasts up to 4 hours, charging port using a micro USB and it has a lithium ion integrated battery, 280 mHz, lithium ion integrated. The measurement for width is 7.5 inches, the height 4 inches and the depth is 7.5 inches also and it weighs approximately 15.3 ounces. So now that we've set up everything, uh, we're going to go ahead and turn her on. I have a little button right here on the side, somewhat inconspicuous, and you have your LED display that is on. I'm going to go ahead and grab my phone, and just turn it off actually. Use the HDMI, mini HDMI, and this is where you're going to need a doggo. Thanks to Apple, you know, you're going to need a doggo for pretty much everything uh, but good thing that the HDMI doubles as the audio jack so you, you'll be fine so you first and foremost you put in your little doggo boom you plug in the HDMI port in the back of the headphones it's labeled so you only need two outlets really you only have two two plugins really the blue ones for the HDMI and the black one is for charging so you plug this in it's pretty simple plug and go Plug this in towards the HDMI. And let's see what we have. We have lift off. Okay. Minus the cable. Okay, so I managed to uh, change out the proper nose uh, adjuster because the other one was a little bit too high up for me. Um, and I used the doggle that you know you have to purchase in order for you to use the new iPhones. Uh, but one thing I find out that the doggo has to be powered up so you actually have to be getting charged in order for this to work. And once you plug it into the, the iPhone, it's, it acts like a computer. So it acts like a computer and it asks you on your, on, your, uh, on your iPhone, do you want to trust this computer? So it's basically saying that this is a computer and if you want to allow data to stream uh, from, the, uh, from the iPhone, into the headset which it is at this point in time so I'm gonna go ahead I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it I'm gonna try my best uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can play something off of YouTube uh, and have it displayed over here so I'm on YouTube I can see it clearly now um, disclaimers this isn't a VR headset you're not going to be there's no immersion here so if you're expecting to be immersed um, into your video, you're not gonna get this. This is not what you're gonna find here. What this is, is basically a headphone um, that can double over as um, your own personal home theater. You're not getting a wide view of angle because when you have this on, you can see over you, you can see under you, you can see all around you. So if I have this on, 
like so. I can still see over and I can still see under, I can still see everything around me. It's just that when I'm focused in the center, I have, it's like as if I'm sitting in the middle row of a movie theater. I can still see everything. So there is no immersion here. So if you're expecting to pay $150 for the Avigan and you think you're going to be immersed, uh, immersed in some VR experience, don't waste your money. If you want to show support to my channel, simply hit the notification bell, like or dislike this video depending on how you feel, and feel free to comment on what you think I should review next. And most importantly, subscribe, share this video with friends or family or whomever you think would really enjoy this. It's fun, it's free, and who doesn't like free? I know I do.